right? Come on. And then I gotta go. And then you gotta go. I do. I, I gotta, gotta get go. my wife home. She two yeah. weeks before baby. I gotta get her home and get her in bed. Yeah, he's such a trooper, guys. Chad Michael Murray. Thanks for talking to us for a bit. Well, thank you for having me. Oscar night. Besides the main surprise of the evening, which mm -hmm. was the moonlight at the end, the whole mix up. Was there any other surprises for you tonight? No, no. A lot of a lot of joy. I mean, when you watch artists that put their heart and soul and blood and sweat and tears into a project and you see them win and you get to see their honest like my favorites viola gave the best speech did she not i was not yet in the room to watch it i came from i was hosting at another pre-show party and i wasn't back yet i missed okay. it but it i'm gonna watch it you and tell me beautiful and it just was so poignant. It spoke to a generation. It spoke to a world. I, I really, really loved. I, I loved what she had to say, you know. Uh, and I was, I was pulling for her. I was pulling for Emma Stone. I'm happy both of those women won tonight, and and, and that's it, you know. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's everybody that's there, just won just for being there. It's it's an opportunity. Your art is on a level that is getting the appreciation and the respect that you hope and pray that it gets when you start, you know, from when you're yay, yay big until you're, you know, a full grown human. Uh, so uh, just what a great night. And you're on your own journey. You're on Sun Records now and very music. It sounds like you love music well, and you're in this it's show. It's really hard to find someone is... who does not like music. Well, I don't, you know, I think everyone has a varying level of passion of course, for music. So I'm um, lucky tell me about your appreciation for it. I'm lucky enough to be a fly on the wall in this show and be recording the likes of Elvis Presley and Johnny Cash and Jerry Lee Lewis and uh, it goes on and on and on. I mean, we have moments with B.B. King coming into the studio and, and, and just doing unbelievable blues. I mean, I, I really did feel like a fly on the wall going back in time and, and watching Elvis walk through the door, son, and, and record a song for his mama. It, it's really something special and everybody at CMT deserves a, a, an applause for, for giving us the opportunity to make it. But Leslie Greif and Roland brought the dream to reality and everybody just picked up the weight and, and just did it. You'll see, you'll see, it's really special. We started last Thursday, episode two will be this Thursday and kicked off to uh, a great response. People love it. What time for our viewers? Uh, Thursday night, 10 p.m. on CMT. And uh, I believe that they have uh, encore, perform encore shows on their sister networks, uh, TV Land, MTV, um, so it's been kind of around the uh, around the dial, which is nice. So if you don't get CMT, you can check it out somewhere else. But this is their launch into really, I think, important scripted television, mm -hmm. telling a story of important moments in life. This is the birth of rock and roll that changed the world, that changed a culture. And uh, it's just been really cool to be a part of it. I look forward to seeing you on the show. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much for taking time with us tonight. And go take your lovely wife home. I'm doing it. I got to go. <laughs> go home and I hope you DVR the Oscars and go check them out, all right? Thank you.